Hey everyone, Ford Viper here. Uh, as you guys can see from the title and the beginning of the video, uh, this series is being discontinued. To start out with, I'm I was never I don't I wasn't sure if season three was actually a good idea when I first thought about it. Um, this is this is the exact same reason why there was no season two of the Asia series here. Uh, you know how like in mapping series people are always like oh this this nation will never attack this nation we're friends or like there's always be someone complaining about the world being united like i think in some way i think the idea of a united world is actually a bad idea for a mapping series not saying that you shouldn't do it but to make it i don't know quote quote realistic but really um when you have like a, a world where like they're basically not trying to declare war on each other and because they're united, ordered, or whatever reason it is, it's kind of hard to make a, a typical mapping video because, first of all, I feel like if I start a war with this nation, then the whole world is just going to interfere and then stop it, right? And that will be a that will be a very boring video. So I did this underground group concept that I used in the MapperCast collab as well. And I guess it was going great at first, but then... The idea is starting to become a little bit concerning. Like, like, um, like I, I feel like the his ideas are a bit too extreme, and it had me a little bit concerned. I try to narrow it down a bit to make it less extreme, but I, I, I don't know. Like, okay, I know like prop the idea of of not having food or anything is never gonna happen, but but it, I think it's an interesting concept to explore. But then the series has gone to a point where. It's not really like an action-packed series anymore. Like, if you compare it to Tides of the Hybrid, it, 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 was, it was really building up the plot to have this one final monster known as Tides of the Hybrid, who apparently was a dictator of, of Cuba who wanted to bring fake unity to the world. Like, at least there's a reason that happens. But the end of the hope is not like Tides of the Hybrid, where it's not like some some like i don't know epic battle where epic war that happens that that makes the, the nations become or basically unite all the nations but that's 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 i don't want to repeat that it's kind of boring in my opinion so i want to try something new and i'm gonna say 50 percent of season three was a mistake and the other 50 percent makes me get to experience experience What's it like to not have a typical mapping series like like uh, Ties of the Hybrid, the, the big villain, and then there's like a bunch of wars happening, like End of Hope barely had any wars happening. I try to do it with the technocracy thing, but that one just ended up being a disaster in my opinion. Like, it, I feel like it just happened. Like, okay, I find the reason was that, oh, because the nations couldn't defeat the underground group. I made the underground group too OP, so technocracy arises because uh, they, they need uh, high tech to be able to defeat them, so... I don't know, I'm just mumbling, trying to think of everything I can think of on top of my head. This is not scripted, and to be honest, I'm kind of glad I get to experience what's it like if you have like a kind of like a united world, which is why I'm glad I regret not continuing the Asia series. I mean, okay, fine, let's say you have a united world. What's next? What's the next thing that's going to happen is that a united world collapses. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, I think that's kind of expected, and that that's just like everything all over again and really it's either that the world is never going to be united or the world is just too united that they won't declare war on each other but they still hate each other so i don't know this whole concept is very confusing and although the series is not supposed to be realistic it's i don't want it to be too random so so next thing is why am i discontinuing it so um i already explained like what the, the problem with the series itself but then the next problem is that the schedule school is starting in september next week so yeah i guess the stress is going to be returned and i don't know what's it like am i going to get kicked out of university i don't know but uh really i i feel like i can't just keep pressing on into this series like first yeah obviously it doesn't have a lot of support either as much as the frozen series that i started but uh, it's it's really got to a point where i lost motivation for the series yes yes i lost motivation because i feel like it's not it's not really like ties of the hybrid where you have like oh you have to be building up this momentum this is just about lord guang and his uh idea of 
jungle law or something. Like, it's 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 not like, oh, this nation declares a war on this, and this nation declares a war on this, because insert valid uh, logical reasons. So, yeah, so I think it's time that I put an end to the series. But as you guys can see, to be fair, I gave the how the plot's going to end. Basically, I summed up how the plot's going to end, and... Yeah, if they're not, there's not going to be a season 4, and there's and season 3 is not being continued, but at least you know how it ends, so. I don't know what, what is there to say anymore, but. Really, I was enjoying the series at first, but then sooner or later I felt like I'm not building any momentum in the series. I just feel like I'm, I'm all, the whole series is all focused on this one guy's uh, anti-political ideology here, and. In my opinion, it, it just looks it just looks very bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed the journey of this Future of the World series. And in my opinion, I think Tides of the High River is still the best out, out of the other two seasons. Like in the Hope and the Rise of New Abyssinia. So I guess um, a tribute to a lot of the characters that I have I loved, like the ones I created, like the USA, the, the spider leg technology and Algeria, the big hybrid side, Ethiopia, the one and the New Abyssinia conflict, as well as uh, Australia with their new airships and the New Zealand uh, saving the world. And Eurasian U Union's hammer is probably one of my favorites as well. And I think Lord Grand could have been my favorite, but the idea was a little bit too, it was too stretched and it doesn't really fall under the... It, it was not, it doesn't have a, as much epicness as, uh, as Ties of the Hyper did, so. Yeah, I, I don't know what else is there to say. Um, so what's going to happen now? So the Frozen series is now going to be the main priority. And the upload times on that is probably going to be like once a week or maybe once a month, depending on how university goes. I bet it's going to be, it's more likely to be once a month, but. Just so you know, I'm not quitting, but I'm basically going to be the semi-quitting uh, video I made a year ago, which didn't go so well. But uh, yeah, I, I am making this video too long, and I'm tired. I don't want it to be too long, which actually it's already only about 10 minutes long, I think. I actually can't see it, but oh, I'm just rambling. All right, just that's it for the, for this video, okay? Done.